Yeah. <laughs> okay, sounds good, guys. All right, man. Bye. It's on Sperm Bowl 96, three days away. Oh, boy. 72 hours and counting. You're oh. going to lose, Anthony. Yeah, I got more sperm than you. I Stop don't it. I think so. Gravity Stop kills. It. AAF. WAF, the only station that really rocks. It's Opie and Anthony. Got to tell people about Ticket Blitz Thursday. A wonderful feature here at AAF. In the morning, Hillman's got tickets to see George Carlin at Symphony Hall. Ozone's got tickets to see Rush. We got tickets to see uh, Kicking Harold. And Rocco turns out to tickets to see Marilyn Manson at Avalon. Ticket Blitz Thursday starts with the Hillman, 6 a.m. Thursday morning with WAAF. Hey, if you're just tuning in, it's official. Sperm Bowl 96 will be happening Friday. Three days and counting before Sperm Ball 96. Banking your way. Uh, wow. Dude, I, I'm serious. I want you to spot me at least a mil. I'm not spotting you any sperm. You got to spot me at least a mil. The, 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 the odds makers in Vegas have already given you the favorite. And the reason is because you're Italian, and supposedly Italians racist. have... M- what a racist well, remark that is. I've been doing my research, man. Italians have more of those little buggers than, uh, like a, than a white kid like me, man. That's a, well, buy some then from somebody else. Come on, spot me like a half mil. Come on. I'm we need, not spotting you any. We need some kind of odds. You got to spot you me. You will not get odds. It what? is a head-to-head competition. I don't think so. Maybe back-to-back, but not head-to-head, <laughs> Okay. Come on. I'm not spotting you any sperm. How about spot me a quarter? Quarter mil. No way. Dude, that still leaves you a lot of sperm. Uh, 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 uh. Nope, uh, nope, nope. This right. is it. Even odds, pal. Three days and counting. You can make bets on an over-under or something like that. If you want to bet on yourself or something like that, that's fine. All but right. Well, start sending the bets in through the fax machine. 931-1073. 72 hours from right now, somebody oh. will be doing the deed live on this radio oh, show. That is disgusting. And we got Don and Dave, the official judges, are coming in with their cups and their, Where the hell? And their microscopes. Where is there any privacy in this studio uh, we'll have to figure it out somehow man go into the, the, the storage closet to get the <laughs> yeah. prizes we could do that thank like, you what's on this cd <laughs> next time they give something away <laughs> we could do that it's gonna uh, happen friday though i don't know oh man this is gonna be the talk of the town what I'm if the boss, of, i want to go into the boss's office what if yeah what if one of us uh shoots blanks it is a possibility have you ever been tested no, honestly, I haven't. See, neither have I. So, I mean, it could get very embarrassing if someone uh, is shooting blanks. All of a sudden, it's like, um, I, I don't know if you want this on the air or not. <laughs> right. Uh, but th- you're spitting dust. Three. <laughs> three. Wow, three million? Three? No, no. 300,000? No. no. No, three. You got three. And two are retarded and one is crippled. <laughs> <laughs> I was going to say, but the good news is one of them uh, swims like Mark Spitz. Mark Spitz, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right, we are uh, 72 hours away from Spur oh, 96. Boy. Man, I don't think any stupid DJ will be able to rip this one off. <laughs> yeah. This is going to be wacky. <laughs> They're actually spanking the monkey on the air, Albert. Oh, man. The rage. Yes. All right, it'll happen on uh, Friday. And we got to call Ian, our cameraman, to get it on the WAF Real Rock. How the hell himself. is that going to be televised? I don't know. We'll figure a way to do it. That's for sure. All right? All right. Porno. Hey, on the way, we got Kippy Love. She called earlier. It was pretty freaking funny. Stick around for that. Getting hung up on my Dewey Decimal. Whoa, what's going on? I want to rage. Where's the pit? Dude, uh, how did I end up with the black polyester pants? all over the place. WAAF shirts, hats, and now wallets are all available at Newbury Comics. 107.3 WAAF. Rocks STP Lady Picture Show from the latest CD. Of course, STP coming to town. Tickets go on sale Saturday at 9 a.m. for their Fleet Center show. Yeah. Dude, come on. Spot me 100,000. I'm not spotting you any sperm cells from the sperm count. The faxes are going crazy. Everyone is uh, picking you to win Sperm Ball 96, which is going to happen Friday. Three days and counting. It's even. Even bet. I, I've done a lot of research. Italians have more of those little buggers. That there. is a, a rumor. It's a, 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 one of those racially uh, motivated uh, well, well, rumors. Well, spot me, spot me a field goal. <laughs> I'm not spotting you anything. Come on. We go at this. If you want to train a little harder and try to get that count up before Friday, 
Do whatever you got to do at home. Put ice cubes down your underwear. All right. Well, the, so far, the uh, the early odds are uh, in your favor. A lot of people are going for Anthony well, to win Sperm Bowl 96. You so. can't have any sex. No. For, uh, for a week, man. Wow. Well, for Well, no. We had three days in county. Three days. Three days. Three well, that's days. probably pretty pretty cool All that'll right. build it up a little bit <laughs> hey earlier we talked to kippy love because she did really well with her football picks this weekend she went four for five our chick with nuts from p-town and this is how it sounded earlier salon and spa kippy love oh, 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 anthony and Opie, is it you <laughs> is it really you hi we couldn't talk to you yesterday because of the columbus holiday but we just want to check in and say congratulations you did great on your football picks once again Four you, for five. Four for five. Kidding me. You only missed the Bills Dolphins game. You picked the Bills, and of course, the Dolphins won this weekend. I can't believe it. But you're 22 and nine on the season. Wow. Yeah, is that good? That's really Damn good. good. <laughs> oh, how exciting. I'm so excited. <laughs> so, how's P Town treating you? P Town is good. I've been getting a lot of fan mail. Uh huh. You know, um, it's really, really nice to get letters, but I'm really not interested in getting letters from, from satanic worshippers. Uh-huh. Uh-oh, what so, happened? Sounds like you have a story. All satanic worshippers, please don't send me any letters. I'm a child of the universe. I'm not into the dark side. Child of the universe. I'm a child of the light. Please don't send me any dark letters. Well, I've seen your picture. Maybe you should be a child of the dark. <laughs> no, I shouldn't. <laughs> Honey, I'm Lily White. Lily, I had you pegged for more of a pansy. <laughs> oh, dude. Ah, come on. I'm sorry. You know, that was there. I had to do it. <laughs> yeah, it was a slow pitch right up the middle. You had to hit it over the fence, I guess. Now, uh, Kippy, have you gotten any strange letters yet? Yeah, a girl sent me a letter, and she wants to have sex with me, and it really freaked me out. Wow. I was traumatized by it. I, I had dreams about being a lesbian last night, and I had dreams about um, cunnilingus, and it terrified me. I woke up covered in sweat this morning. So that was sweat? <laughs> I, ca- I woke up covered in sweat this morning with wedge. W- is it called Wedgewood? W- oh, no, wood? Wedgewood. That's China. Uh- <laughs> Woodchuck, whatever you want to call it. Chuck, Chuck. Wh- what's it called? Willy Wed? Wizwood. Wizwood. I woke up with Wizwood. Oh, my God. That must have scared the hell out of you. <laughs> it really freaked me out. <laughs> but, you know, I'm not ruling it out, you know. Completely. You're not ruling out uh, becoming a lesbian? No, because I think that bisexuality is a very trendy thing for the 90s. But you're you're still a guy trying to become a girl, and then you, when you become a girl, you're going to become a lesbian? No, I don't think so, no. Yeah. I know people that do that, but it's not really, no. Madonna had her stupid baby. What do you think? She did. She had her baby finally. Right. Did it crawl out, or did they pull it out? <laughs> I'm thinking they probably pulled it out. I can't imagine her as a mother, but, you know. Okay, might put an eye out on those pokey boobs she's got. Yeah, those her boobs, boobs could poke anyone's eye out, huh? Those cone <laughs> Bras. She's got the cone bra on. Those Piri Mugler cone bras. I mean, are you kidding? Maybe they'll devise a suction cup to it so the baby can just, like, push a button and the milk will come out. Well, I like her boy, her boyfriend or whatever he is. He's whatever. A, what, the he's sperm donor? He's a hot Latino pappy. Ooh, poppy. <laughs> have you ever slept with a Latino? Oh, honey, have I ever. Really? Ooh, I think his name was Fidel. Oh. Fidel slipped you the cigar, huh? He did. Honey, you slipped me a big blonde. <laughs> all right, well, Kippy, we, we better fly, man. <laughs> okay, fans, I love you all, and I love WAAA. Oh, everyone loves Kippy Love. Now, and Kippy, I, I, I will allow you to give out your P.O. box if you do it in your real voice. Okay, all of my fans that wish to contact me, Kippy Love, can contact me at. P.O. Box 7, Provincetown, Mass, 02657. Ah! <laughs> All right, we'll talk to you Friday. Oh, no, it's her again. Yeah, later. <laughs> Bye. Bye, dude. Oh. What's going on, brother man? Hey, well, the moral decay of our country continues. Madonna's got a rug rat. <laughs> uh, I read the kid already has a lawyer and wants to put herself up for adoption. <laughs> But I'd have liked to have seen what was going on in that delivery room, eh? What do you mean? You were there? No, nah, I would have liked to have seen it. I'd rather part see more action in the beaches of Normandy on DJ. <laughs> Coming out of there must have been like riding the wacky water slide at Agawam Park. <laughs> hey, I ain't saying she stretched out down there, but rumor has it the kid drove out in a Buick. <laughs> yeah, now I hear the poor kid has a, a slight defect, you know. A defect? Yeah, she had dents in her head where Dennis Rodman's <laughs> was hitting it. Oh! 
you can't say well, that! I just said, hey, would you know from all that sex and dancing she does, she got some strong womb muscles. Strong womb muscles? Yeah, when that kid shot out, it was good for a first down. <laughs> hey, hey, I'm glad it was a girl, though. Uh-huh. Yeah, now she can put pretty pink bows in her hair. Uh-huh. One under each armpit. Ah! <laughs> yeah, and then you hear the proud mother pass out cigars after the birth. Really? Yeah, she even smokes one. <laughs> sure, any excuse to put something long and brown in her mouth. <laughs> yeah. Hey, and if you want to look at the kid in the hospital nursery behind that glass, right. it'll cost you 10 bucks and a two-drink minimum. <laughs> I'm out of here, Joe. All right, Curse Man! Velocity Girl and Lauren Hoffman at the Rat, Left of Zero, Sally's, and My Reality. At Axis, Psychotica, and Elevated Drops. You want to go to the movies? Hmm. Uh, the Chamber. That's what I would the go The Chamber? See. You would go see Chamber? I would go yeah. see The Chamber. That's pretty good. How about uh, The Glimmer Man with Steven Seagal? No. How about The Long Kiss Goodnight? Gina Davis, Samuel Jackson? No! One the star. Chick action flick? No. No? No. All right, well, the new NYPD Blue starts tonight. Really? A new se- fourth season, kicking up at 10 o'clock on ABC. And, of course, the uh, the Atlanta-St. Louis game kicks off again tomorrow night. See if... I think Atlanta's going to gonna take the next two. Wow, it's going to be tough. Not many teams have come from a 3-1 to one, uh, deficit, but we'll have to wait and see. See who starts the World Series on this Saturday, I believe. I would I love think. to see the Yanks and Braves in the uh, World Series because then you get to see all those uh, you know, shots of uh, Ted and uh, Jane Turner on the sidelines freaking out, getting all nervous. That's true. You yeah. know something I noticed about um, when the Yankees were playing Baltimore? Huh. The park in Baltimore. If you look behind home plate, what is that, Camden Yards? Yes. If you look behind home plate, you see the people sitting there? Right. There's no real wall behind them. It looks like they're just sitting on bleachers. The weather's kind of cold now, so I couldn't really tell if this is the truth, but during the summer, when women are sitting behind there wearing skirts, I would be damned if you can't look right up their skirts. <laughs> 107.3 WAF with Darla Hood. 107.3 WAF, the only station that really rocks. Grow your own from Darla Hood. Uh, Darla Hood coming to town for a concert. Don't have any details yet. We will in the very near future, okay? Darla Hood. They could check them out, see what they're all about in concert. And you know something? One of the things you can find on the WAF uh, Infomaniac Hotline... Oh, bless things. A lot of exactly. people call for that info all the time, which is uh, pretty cool, actually. But if you want to do it on your own, if you can't get through to the station, uh, you can call 617-252-4AF. Also, you can leave your comments for the AAF Programming Department. We hate mm. that feature because it's people complaining about me and Ann, but, eh, but it's, it's good. It's constructive. It's, yeah, I guess. The Infomaniac Hotline is brought to you by Executive Glass. Call 1-800-696-1555 and the only station that really rocks, 107.3 WAF. <sighs> when you sigh, that just means one thing. Someone's got a problem with something. Yeah. What's the problem? Yeah. <sighs> well, the sperm bowl. Well, we're doing that Friday. You're not backing out, are you? No, I'm not backing out, but some woman says it's disgusting. Oh, she wants to talk about Sperm Bowl 96? Yes. If you don't know, uh, if you haven't been listening today, it's official. Sperm Bowl 96 will go off without a hitch, hopefully. That's right. This coming Friday, we got Don and Dave who are going to count these uh, little buggers. Anthony and I are going to find out who has the higher sperm count. It's going to be me, I think. Well... (laughs) Me and Anthony have been talking. Hard. There you go. Me and Anthony have been talking about this off air, and we're getting lots of advice from our faithful listeners. Everyone is suggest- suggesting that oh. we both wear boxer shorts. Keep those buggers loose. No, so, no. So Anthony's not going to do that. I'm going to have sex right up until we do it. Well, the faithful listeners say you shouldn't do that. For, I'm going to do that for two or three days I'm leading up to wear, the event. I'm wearing jockey shorts. You shouldn't I'm do that. I'm going to drink like a drunk, and I'm going to smoke like a. <sighs> Like a 50s movie star. <laughs> I'm just going to have a cigarette in my mouth all the time. Oh, man. And we'll see those things come out. <laughs> <laughs> they might not be in the best to health, but boy, there'll be a lot of them. All right. Well, and <laughs> like you know a what, party. And you know what the loser has to do? The loser has to get into a car and crash into a wall with an airbag. Oh, boy. To prove uh, back his manhood. <laughs> Prove his stupidity. And less than 72 hours away, man. 71 hours and counting uh, to Sperm Bowl 96. Let me get my wrist ready. <laughs> uh, so this lady has a problem, huh? AF. Hi. 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 
Is this the sickos, Opie and Anthony? Yes, sickos. it is. You guys are disgusting. Why? I was going to leave my boyfriend because I caught him doing that. Well, this is for wait, medical research. Wait, wait, research. wait, 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 wait. You were going to leave your boyfriend because you caught him masturbating? Yeah. Let me let you in on something. No. Every guy masturbates. It it's, doesn't matter how good the sex is, every guy masturbates. That's- Raunchy, disgusting. Wait, Ugh. I want to. I want to find out how I the hell you. I can't believe you guys are gonna have a big jerk off fest on the radio. No, it's called Sperm Bowl '96. It's ever. It's gonna be a sperm count. Ugh. It's just the technicality that you have to get it. You know, Ugh. you got to get the sperm somehow. And you caught your boyfriend. How'd you do that? I'm not gonna say. Oh come on! I really, I'm interested in how he got nailed because I've been masturbating for a very long time now, and I've never been caught. Mm. So what happened? You came home from work early? Uh, something like that. And what was he doing? Where was he? <laughs> living room. In the living room? Was he watching a movie? Uh, no. Did he have a magazine? No. Well, maybe he was thinking of your lovely face. I doubt it. What did you, what did you do? <laughs> like, what did you say? Uh, I just was disgusted thoroughly. Did you scream? No. And what did he do? I tried do? to be understanding. Did he jump up all flipped out? Yeah. What did he grab, like, the uh, cushion from the couch to try to cover himself up real fast? <laughs> yeah, <laughs> And then try to explain that he was uh, doing what? <laughs> <laughs> I'm not going to say any more about it. Come on. No, nope, it upset me very badly, and I don't want to talk about it. How long ago it's was like, it? It's like, oh, honey, I, I, I just noticed I had some dry skin. I was just, uh, you know. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I was Picking making sure off. I was able to apply lotion to my entire body. You know, Breaking so it's it soft for you. Yeah. <laughs> See, I'm doing you a favor here. You guys are sick, but I still love you, just like my boyfriend. Okay. Hey, did you give him some good sex and stuff? Or yeah. Did he... Yeah? I made more of an attempt since then. All right. <laughs> Very good. I just I... wanted to call you and tell you guys are sick, and but I still like you. Well, well, you listen in and get disgusted this Friday. No, I can't wait. All right. <laughs> Bye. Bye. Gibberish that you're talking. Oh, with this guy? Oh, this guy is a nut. I might have a talking piece about of it, some actually. girl. And, and going out, and I, I couldn't understand what he was talking about, but I don't know how he understood anything you were saying. Well, I was messing with him a little. I was effing a with little. him. A little. All right, well, this guy called up. He had a problem with a girl, and there was another guy involved, and he's asking uh, my advice. So I decided to just start talking gibberish. And, and listen, this proves that most people don't even listen to anyone, man. Check this out. <laughs> who it is, you know? You know what I'm saying, right? Oh, yeah. Call him while he's playing, right? Yeah, you know. (laughs) I totally agree. Do you? Hey, it sounds good to me. What do you think I should say? You got any, uh... Yeah, I would just tell, you know, say what you think and stuff, you know? All right. Because I know exactly who it is. I called the girl's house tonight to make sure it was her, and it was. So I know who it is. Oh, uh, yeah, you know, because that, that's, like, you know, that's really, it's like, you know, <laughs> isn't that amazing? It's so great. Is he out of his mind? Yeah, I think so. Twice like, in the 10 whole days? Mind. Yeah, you know. Twice in 10 days. She's got to do it again, too. Well, don't, well do you agree? Try and get him. Get a bet going that well, she yeah. does it again. Yeah, I did something for that. I think that. you should. Do you understand, you know? Do you agree with me or what? Oh, uh, definitely. Yeah, I'm going to call him tomorrow morning. I'm going to bust his butt, definitely. Well, I wouldn't that, you know, just <laughs> because he's a little to say, you right? Do you agree? <laughs> oh, definitely agree. Right. I understand now. I'm like, that's smart, right? Uh, that's excellent, though. I couldn't believe they wouldn't mention it. Like, don't mention any names. None of the guys in the place would mention the names, you well, know? Well, let me tell you what you should do. Okay, tell me, because I want to make it sound good for the radio, so it ain't too bad, and I don't want to... You should definitely, you know, with the girl, and make sure that does not look, you know? Well, actually, I don't think she is right now, because we called her, she's like, they didn't mention my name, did they? And we just laughed, because we didn't say, you know, we know you didn't mention any names this morning. Well, don't worry about names, because I I had two minutes in a bank, it was in Kapoor, right? But, uh, you know what, I'm going to describe her and everything, I think, tomorrow morning, I'm going to say, I know who it is, and it'll be... I'll be like, Bill, don't do it again. She's going to do it to you over and over. Well, let me give you a little... I'll tell him I got a side bet going that he'll do it again and she'll do it again. <laughs> I got to give you just a little advice. What's that? It's just it's to make sure that, you know, because then if that happens, then God knows what will go on. Do you agree? Uh, I don't know, but I, you know he's going to go out with her again. And you know what? She's going to do it again. All right. Well, I know her. She does it all the time. She's done it to me. Well, listen, I got it, you know, because uh, the show and stuff, all right? All righty. All right. All righty. Thanks a lot. Yeah. Bye-bye. 
Add to that story about the girl that found her bo boyfriend um, masturbating. Well, let me explain uh, in case uh, people are just tuning uh, in. Uh, Some uh, girl found her boyfriend masturbating, and she was so shocked she almost left the guy. She was disgusted, she said. And I was trying to tell the lady that you got to face facts. Every guy masturbates no matter how cool the sex is. That's right. If she's not happy, she shouldn't be with him because I caught my boyfriend doing that. I came home early from work, and um, I caught him in the act, and I almost slipped on the oil, and he, he ran in the shower and the movie's still in the uh, TV and he's trying to deny it. So I go to... <laughs> I call what typical guy he's trying to... No, man. No, this is a work thing I'm doing. It's like I'm doing hands, like uh, something for work. His hands are full of cream, <laughs> and he's trying to tell me that, oh, I wasn't doing anything. Oh, like, man. Honey, I, I, I read a twister, swear to God, and this is what was in the box. Uh, I don't yeah, know what right. I got here. And then I pull the movie out, and it's like witches, wicked, wild sex. <laughs> oh, man, did you nail him? Oh, I, oh. I bagged him in the act. I, I threw the movie out, so he owed like $45 on this movie. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, he used to get it five times a day from me and he was still doing it and he was still doing it yeah because i mean even if even if you have really good sex a guy would like to be by himself to think about how good the sex was i don't know what <laughs> it's I like mean, a vicious <laughs> circle man oh i know it <laughs> but anyway i just wanted to add to that so but, is he still doing it um i don't know i broke up with him and as far as i know he is that's not the reason you broke up with him because you found him no no he used to smoke a lot of pot and he had no money and <laughs> Sounds first, great. first Jewish guy I meet, he's got no money. But you Hot figure it out. Masturbating broke. <laughs> yeah, the whole thing. The whole nine yards. Did he drink? Uh, a little bit, yeah. Uh Whoa, honey. Got arrested a few times. Whoa, you know? honey, you're home. <laughs> oh, dude. 107.3 WAF, the only station that really rocks orange 9 millimeter and failure. It's Opie and Anthony, and uh, we got a little guest in the studio, and why don't you do the uh, honors here? Go ahead and introduce yourself. Hi. <laughs> introduce myself? Yeah, go ahead. Arthur Gray from the Arthur Gray Show. The Arthur Gray Show. The oh, Arthur like Gray Show. Now, that's a, a public access show in Westboro, Mass. Yep. And he uh, decided for some weird reason that he wanted us on his little TV show. That's hey. cool. So they came in here to film, and he wanted to say hi to all his pals on the radio today. That's right. I didn't believe I'd come down here. That's, they didn't believe you, right? They didn't believe me. He said, dudes, I'm going to interview Opie and Anthony for my TV show. And they said, yeah, right. That's right. Yep. Wow. Yeah, you know something? The Arthur Gray Show has equipment that's 10 times better than WAF's Real Rock Television. <laughs> <laughs> he's, he's got network TV cameras in here, it looks like. Yeah, maybe our uh, GM should get a hint here, man. <laughs> My goodness. <laughs> they got a two-camera shoot happening in here. What do we got, a palm quarter? You know, <laughs> that's, what we're, that's what we're taping our show with. Wow. wow. Uh, so when is this uh, show going to be on in It'll the Westboro area? Thanksgiving special. Thanks <laughs> Thanksgiving special. Yep, 8 o'clock channel 11. Uh, uh, what day? On uh, Thursday? It's a Wednesday. Wednesday? Wednesday? No, it's a Thursday. 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 Right. On actually uh, Thanksgiving. Thursday. So after you eat wow. turkey, you could watch Anthony and uh, I on this TV show. Great. All right, very well. Arthur Gray Show. Yeah. That's cool. I like how you just got your name. And there's the title of the show. You, you didn't want to call it something else. Like at home or, or, you know, kicking back. It's, damn it, I'm Arthur Gray and it's my show. You got to love that. That's good. You'll make a good, uh, good national for anchor. Good enough for me. Yeah, it's right. good enough for Letterman. Good enough for me. <laughs> well, <laughs> I like Arthur, his thanks for uh, coming in today, all right? Hey, thanks a lot. All right, and on the radio, we got cake in just a few cake. minutes. Stay there. It's here. WAAF's very first station scene. Unusual suspects. How funny, man. It's that and more. A collection of exclusive in-studio performances from Goo Goo Dolls. Now I won't tell no one The Nixons. Sister, I see you. The Tell me all your thoughts on God. And lots more. Yeah! favorite on-air moments from the Hillman Morning Show. Well, Arnold, I had no idea. That, that is Mr. Schwarzenegger. Obi and Anthony. I, I have a Tourette's. Mm-hmm. I, I, I hate you. John Osterlund. You all be bad as they just die. And Rocco. Dude, you stuck your tongue down a dude's throat. Dude, no, man, wait. AAF's unusual suspect seat is sure to be a collector's item. Get it at Strawberries, Sam Goody, and Coconuts. Proceeds benefit the Greater Boston Food Banks. WAAF very first station CD, Unusual Suspects. It's round. It's got a hole in the middle, so buy it. Had that horn there with the mute thing. It was pretty cool. And you can check it out live uh, Saturday night on the TV show. Rock! It's Opie and Anthony. One of the things we want to do on the show today is play some of the cuts off the... Uh, 
unusual suspect CD, the WAF CD. We never thought we'd see the day. I'm kind of proud today, to be totally honest with you. This is this we've been is great. Uh, we've been working on this thing uh, in secrecy for the last what four or five months. It's like the Manhattan Project with the H bomb, the right. secrecy that this thing was veiled in. Because we didn't want any of the other douchebag radio stations uh, jumping on our bandwagon, yeah, so right. we were able to sneak it out in time for Christmas. It's uh, it's pretty wacky, unusual suspects. It has all the jocks here at AF on the cover in a police lineup. Yeah. And if you don't know what the CD is about, mostly it's a lot of uh, live performances done right here in the AF studios, like uh, the Beth Hart Band, the Goo Goo Dolls, the Schwala, the Nixons, Brother Kane, God Lives Underwater, and the list goes on and on and on. And then in between the uh, live performances is some of the uh, classic bits from uh, all the DJs here at AF. Wacky. Which is going to make a fine uh, Christmas present for somebody. Yes. So I wanted to play one of our contributions to the CD, man. Which one, Opa? Actually, this starts off the CD. Really? Yeah, our famous Tina Louise call. Oh, she didn't like when we called her. No, this is uh, Ginger from Gilligan's Island. If you've never heard this, well, you could check it out. You could check it out on the CD or right now on the radio. What check a this snob. out. Yeah, she was a snob, <laughs> as you will see. Hello? Tina? Yeah. Tina Louise, how are you? It's Opie and Anthony from WAF in Boston. And you are live on the air. Well, that's very nice. I'm just on my way out, and I don't really want to be called uh, on, in my home. Oh. We just want to ask you one lovely question. Yeah, just one question. You're a legend. You're Ginger from Gilligan's Island, for God's sakes. Oh, my God, I can't believe this. How about if we ask just one question? That's it. <laughs> You always seem so sweet on TV. She's been, she was always the nicest one on Gilligan's Island. And the nicest looking. Nicest looking. Ginger. Very sweet. Could you just indulge us to, you know, just, just answer one little question, Ginger, please? One quick question and we'll never bother you again. What is that? When was the last time you got laid? That's it. <laughs> so there you go. One of the tracks from Unusual Suspects, uh, the WAF CD, which is in your record store as we speak, man. I wonder if she's a recluse. Yeah, we'll play more. <laughs> we'll play more tracks from this baby as the afternoon goes on. A A F with Hendra. 107.3 WAF, the only station that really rocks. Cake and the Distance, by far my favorite freaking song on the radio that these one days. is cool. It knocked uh, beautiful people out. 107.3 WAF, Rush, Test for Echo on the only station that really rocks. One of the many bands coming to the area uh, in the coming couple of months. We yeah, got, a lot of shows coming up. We got Rush in Concert, Soundgarden, The Black Crows, Smashing Pumpkins, Corn, STP. STP, that's right. Tickets go on sale for STP this coming Saturday. A lot of people mm -hmm. asking about that. It's Opie and Anthony. A lot of people want to talk about the Learning Channel. I just casually mentioned it about a half hour ago, and it seems like a lot of people caught it. Yeah. Uh, if you don't know what's going on on the Learning Channel, they got this, uh, they do these operations. <laughs> they do open heart surgery where you see the heart pounding. Ba -boom, ba -boom, ba -boom, ba -boom, you sit and watch these, though? Yeah, I, I can't bring myself to watch them. Yeah, it, it's I, too disgusting. It's uh, Actually, I had no problem with open heart surgery. Ba -boom, ba -boom, ba -boom. <laughs> I had no problem even with the back surgery where they even showed the spine and had to cut away at the protective shield uh. around the spine. Ugh. Um, I, I, I didn't even have a problem when I saw the surgery of a vasectomy where they take the guy's sack. No, I saw that. And that they, was sick. They make an incision, and then they uh, they pull out the tube, and then they take these scissors and go, snip. Oh, I just got that tingly feeling. I, know. I didn't even have a problem with that. I finally had a problem with the operation channel this past weekend. Saturday, I was waiting for the you know WAF Real Rock TV show to, to come on. Yeah. So I'm flipping around, and I get to the learning channel. And they're doing breast reduction surgery. Ugh. Breast reduction surgery. I'm Ugh. amazed that kids uh, could find this on their own because, you know, parents are always bitching about what's on TV lately. Well, they show this lady with the hugest boobs I've ever seen in my life. If you put uh, my head and your head next to each other, these boobs would have been bigger than that even. That's okay? how big the boobs are. Huge. Boob and they spent a good 10 minutes before the actual operation showing the lady in the operating room just complete... You know, completely topless. Wow. Uh, the the doctor, you know, weighing them, uh, marking them up for the surgery, blah, blah, blah. Showing pictures on them. And then they, they show the whole surgery from the operating room where they take this device that actually burned the flesh out of the woman's boobs. Ew. Like, they, they go into town with this device that burns the flesh so it doesn't bleed as much, but every once in a while they hit a vessel and you could see, like, blood going... Ah. Spurting straight up out of the lady's boobs. Oh. Oh, my God. 
goodness. And they have, this, they have this on TV at a pretty early hour on a Saturday night. I couldn't believe that you could actually check this out. Ugh. And everyone has a comment about it. Let's go to the phone. Hello, AF. Yeah, Opie. Yeah. I saw that that breast reduction on the TV this weekend. That was nasty. Wasn't that absolutely disgusting? Uh, and you know what? My wife wants to have that done. Really? And I reduction? stayed up and I taped it for her and I said, you don't want to have it done after you saw this. Ugh. I mean, after they started cutting away flesh from this lady's boobs, they took uh, two and a half pounds from each boob, by the way. Yeah. Uh, at one point, it looked like just a big chunk of chopped meat on a plate with a nipple on top. I know. Uh, it was just a bloody mess. It was just a shaft of fat with a nipple on the top. I could not believe they showed that on the Learning Channel, but if uh, Pamela Lee, you know, if a nipple pops out of her uh, bathing suit, everyone will freak out. Yeah. How do you like uh, when they propped her up when they were done and said, hey, doesn't that look nice? Yeah, after they did the surgery, they took out a total of five pounds from this lady's uh, boobs, and they, you know, they sewed it back oh. up, so now she was a C. Yeah. They propped her up, and she looked like Frankenbreast. Oh, yeah. They didn't even look real. Yeah. They didn't look real. There, ah. was, there was, like, stitches all over the boobs. It looked like a Barbie doll or something. Yeah, but uh, supposedly, you know, it turned out great and the lady was really happy but that was messed up they just started taking huge chunks out of this lady's boobs live uh, on TV this weekend and the, and the doctor's talking about it like it's no big deal you know yeah uh, and they're weighing the flesh that they removed from the boobs to yeah. make sure each side would will, will be balanced yeah like going to the deli counter I'll have a half a pound of ham Half a pound of turkey, and give me uh, two and a half pounds of boob meat. <laughs> <laughs> it was kind of like that, too, because at one point, it, would, it only came out to two and a quarter pounds, and they needed to get two and a half, so she had to go back to the boob and get more <laughs> flesh, put it back on the scale until it measured 2.50 on the scale. <laughs> I'm glad someone else saw that because I could not believe I was watching this. And any kid could, uh, you know, tune in the Learning Channel and see these huge, huge boobs. These boobs were as big as my freaking head. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, they said, hey, look at the way she was before and had a nice breast shot. Right. You know? Well, it wasn't a nice breast shot. Those, <laughs> those babies were sagging down to her knees. <laughs> they look better than the new ones, though. Well, I don't know, dude. All the staples around them. Oh, yeah, and I forgot to tell you about the staple gun. They take the staple gun to put the boob back together. It's like ka-chink, ka-chink, Staple. ka-chink, ka-chink, ka-chink. Did about 40 staples to get the boob back in uh, shape. Ugh. Yeah, you gotta have some scars after that, though. How are they gonna hide those scars? I don't know. I don't know, but it was a sick and twisted thing, man. I know. Thanks, bro. Alright, take it easy. Mm-hmm. That's, uh, that's pretty pretty bizarre, stepping in there. You know, because, uh, I mean, it's nice because of, of the TV show, I guess. People know what we look like. Yeah, that's a little scary because I've been doing radio for a really long time and you can kind of go out in public and no one knows who you are, but because of this TV show we got, I know. People are recognizing us everywhere. It's, it's, hey, man. Hey, Anthony. Hey, Anthony. Yeah. Whoa. Hey, who are you? <laughs> yeah. It's a little strange, but definitely cool. Yeah. Hey, the last day of the three day hol holiday rage is tonight. Handsome, another society, and of course, corrosion of conformity. COC. Now, uh, it looks like this show is going to sell out tonight. I mean, the interest is unbelievable. Yeah. Okay. And I've been told that the Roxy is going to open up the box office in a couple hours to sell tickets for tonight's show. So if you want to make sure you got a ticket for tonight and you're in the area, you might want to stop on by early to get your ticks. Yes, do All right. that. And we'll be there again tonight. Yes, we will. We're, we're going full bore. Uh, I, I'm so fuzzy around the edges today. It's not even funny. I feel but a little blurry. A little blurry, yes. Uh, let, me, let me convey to you a little story about this. what happened to me this morning. Uh-oh. I go out to my car. You know, I, I had recently gotten a, a new vehicle after years of driving crap heaps. Right. Got a new vehicle. Well, somebody put their garbage bag on the hood of my car. Whoa! Like, taking out their garbage, instead of taking it to the uh, big compactor that the apartment complex has, they put it on the hood of my car. <laughs> so, mate, now, as you know, I was a, a detective. I was going to say, did he play detective? I did. I was a, I was a detective uh, in New Jersey <laughs> about four years ago. So, I took the bag. Uh, I got these Playtex gloves right. at Osco there, and I ripped the bag open. And, and I'm looking through it. You got and some I, old mail. I find a couple of things with the address and name on it. <laughs> I run upstairs, go to my computer, uh -huh. switchboard.com, right. put the name and address in. Bam, there's the phone number. <laughs> Call up the lady. Right. What the hell was a bag of your garbage doing on my car? <laughs> Ooh, was she flustered. <laughs> she, first, she, she's trying to deny it. Yeah. But then she couldn't even deny it because she was so... 
curious as to how I found out it was her garbage. Yes, awesome. <laughs> so I got a, a little justice there this morning. I bitched her out. Well, I would have taken the garbage and went to her apartment door and just dumped it right in front of the doorway. Oh, that's a good one. I would still do that, actually. Mm, okay, I might do that. I'll do it for you, matter of fact, because you're my pal. Cool. After the show, we're doing that. Cool. We'll dump her garbage back in front of her door. You still got it? Yes. Or we'll just take someone else's garbage. Who cares? Screw it. All right. <laughs> then I gotta mess with my pal, Anthony. Wow, I hope he's got a good idea. <laughs> That's good. We'll get some sweet justice, man. <laughs> Black Crows, 107.3 WAF. Give us a call. Give us a fax. You know the deal, all right? The only station that really rocks the Boston boys. Expanding man and download I will. It's Opie and Anthony. Hey, I got to thank the makers of Crank 2.0 today. Here he goes again. Because if it wasn't for this fine product, I'd still be in bed. Really? A little fuzzy from uh, last night, and this is giving me that kick I need today, man. <laughs> yeah, well, you know, that, that party over there last night at the Roxy, my God, that was great. You know what the worst part of the party was? What? Uh, the boss, he never breaks out his credit cards, but last night he broke them out. Oh. And he puts his, uh, I don't know, American Express down or something. Yeah. Says, boys, it's on me. It's on me, boy. So what are you going to do when there's free booze involved? You're going to drink it. And you're going to get as many as you could possibly drink. <laughs> At one point, I, I had like two in my hand. Somebody else was buying me one. Oh, it's ridiculous. Like, oh, what do I do? <laughs> right. And I've got a power drink. Exactly. So you got to thank the boss for putting his uh, credit card down. Yeah. He finally creaked open his wallet. Oh, please. You know that receipt's going right to American Radio Systems. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's true. He still had to dust off the wallet, though. Loop it up and creak it open. <laughs> creak it open. It probably cracked. There's so many crumbled. <laughs> so many cobwebs around his damn wallet. <laughs> It crumbled into dust when he opened it up. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> All right, man. Hey, uh, a lot of people want to hear that baby diaper uh, prank call oh, from yesterday. God, did I get comments on that last night. It was pretty wild. People were dying going, what the hell? That can't be real. Uh-oh, Harry, baby pooped his pants. <laughs> <laughs> if you didn't hear it from yesterday, we got this uh, catalog for, uh, uh, I don't know, the adult baby catalog. Yep. And we called it up. And we ordered some stuff, man. And yeah. If you, if you didn't hear it yesterday, stick around. We're going to do that just before 4 o'clock, so stay there. <laughs> now, adult babies is this whole sexual thing that goes on with some people. I thought I was demanded sexually, but now I feel pretty secure about myself. Uh, if you're doing this, you are out there. Yeah, people dress up in adult diapers and, and you know, they play little babies. Little girl dresses. Yeah. Those little socklets and everything like that. And they sometimes it goes far as to getting cribs. Right. And, and uh, rattles and baby bottles. Rattles. And, and they, they make in their pants. Right. And uh, they like women to change them. Or other guys. Yeah. I, yeah. It's really, really twisted stuff. to be stuff. treated like babies. So we had this catalog yesterday. That caters to everything you could possibly need if you have a baby fetish. That is bizarre. Oh, ooh. And some of the things in this catalog were like the vagina panties, yes, which so I still can't get over. Those are weird. They're like plastic or rubber panties that have a built-in uh, vagina. Yeah, and, and you could wear them backwards or frontwards. Uh, That's what it says in the catalog. Depending on your preference. <laughs> and then they had other items where they had these pacifiers. Yeah. That stuck out where the nipple should be on an outfit. Yeah. Or where your schlong should be on <laughs> the diapers. Uh, rocking horses. R with matching bibs. Yeah, and, and the, the baby nurse outfit. Yeah. The baby maid outfit. Yeah, and all this stuff <laughs> is to stimulate adults. Right. And their sexual games. And you could just dial the number up and order this stuff. So we did that yesterday, and, uh, well, this is what <laughs> happened. Check it out, bad. Mail order. I'm looking to place an order. Okay, what are you ordering? I was thinking of uh, starting with the schoolgirl outfits. Okay, what catalog do you have? The adult baby catalog. Mm -hmm. What page number? 36 looks pretty good. The sweet girl dress. Uh, well, what can you tell me about this dress? It looks like it's black and white. Right. It looks like a little girl dress. It has kind of like a bib on it. Well, that's good because he's always drooling and spitting up on himself. It's uh, below the knee with a full skirt for lots of petticoats. Is there enough um, room in there for the, you know? The, you know what? Come on, be straight with her already. The male organ for a baby that he's hung like a horse. The male organs? It's a dress. Well, I never put on a dress before. Uh, I once put on my grandmother's panties, though, the big bloomers. And boy, did they smell. Of course it's going to be. I mean, you're going to have more room for your penis in a dress than you are in pants. <laughs> <laughs> you know? Yeah, I, guess I never thought of it that way. What about the rubber panties? 
Rubber panties. What about them? Yeah, he wants to put them on his head while I give bad boy a beating with a spatula. Whatever floats your boat, hon. Harry, shut up don't. or I'll shove that pacifier where the sun don't shine. Well, ask her about the vagina panties. Uh, yeah, ma'am. Do you sell a lot of those vagina panties? All the time. Hmm? And they can wear them backwards and it kind of... Any way you want to wear them. Wear them on your head. <laughs> uh, Harry, baby, uh, hungry. Oh, gee. Uh, yeah, but I'm now hungry. no more string beats. No string beats. Last time you messed your diaper up, it looked like a Picasso painting, for God's sake. <laughs> now hold your horses. We'll play choo-choo later. Now I'm trying to order a dress from this woman. I I've never ordered a dress before. How do I go about doing this? You have to figure out what size you wear in women's clothes. About like a waist measurement? Waist measurement. Well, that's got to be well up into like the 50s and 60s. Okay. And I need something with a slit up the side. Because I like when the wind comes howling through. I like a baby maid outfit. Well, you look through the catalog. You find out what you want. I know what I want. I want the baby maid. I want to be a, a baby maid. A big, fat baby maid. I got that slit up the side so the wind come howling through. You know what? Oh, Harry, Harry. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Order the riding horse with matching baby bib, too. Oh, can we get that? I want that. Do you see it in the catalog? Yeah. What what page? I need you to tell me what page it's on. Uh, uh, I was on the page with a padded fanny so I could get that supple butt look. Uh, oh, page 12. Page 12. Okay. Does that big bottle come with it? The big baby bottle? No. It doesn't? No. Can I get that? Because um, just I looking don't... at that, all of a sudden, I'm... Oof. And the big uh, diaper pin? Okay. Uh-oh, Harry. What? What? Baby made poo-poo in his pants. Oh, my God. You going to use your credit card? Credit card? I don't have time for that. I got to change little poopsie bear. That, that. Oh, there, there, there. I'll that, get some that. baby wipes so you don't uh, chafe. Uh, 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 uh. The corset okay. knickers. The corset knickers on page 13? Uh-huh. You see how that girl's cinching that up? Yeah. Can I get someone to put the knee in my ass like that and, and you know what? pull back? You yes. No. Don't call it. Hey, hey, do no, that. don't call me. I'm serious. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> Playing them because we get a lot of email uh, from people wanting to hear some of this stuff. Oh, the story goes: Marlon Brando. Uh, last summer, there was a picture of Marlon Brando in penthouse giving to another guy oral favors oral favors say. to another guy and that other guy supposedly was wally cox wally cox who was uh, marlon brando's roommate yeah and wally cox was the voice of underdog underdog can you believe that so uh check this out hi af hey what's up what's up who's this uh, this is john i'm calling from little brown and company in waltham uh-huh and you guys did a bit a couple of weeks ago about wally cox and marlon brando uh -oh, and i you... just wanted you guys to do that one again that was so funny you know the story right oh yeah wally and marlon were roommates in the 50s or something and somebody snapped a picture of marlon doing something that uh the godfather shouldn't do exactly <laughs> and by the way that picture is in penthouse oh yeah this month and wally cox was the voice of underdog oh yeah <laughs> <laughs> Uh, oh, you guys are great. Underdog, underdog, come here. I want to satisfy you. Here, let, let me kneel down in front of you. Mild mannered shoeshine boy. Here, let, let me buff something for you. You clean my shoes, I'll buff something for you. When Marlon kneels, I am not slow. He opens his mouth and away I go. <laughs> uh, I... <laughs> all right, all right. You guys go. All right. I'll make you forget sweet Polly pure bread. <laughs> Hi, AF. Hey. Steve, I want you down here now. Hey, wait, Mom. Who's Hello? That? How's my mom sorry about that? Oh, your mom? Yeah. Why is she yelling at you? Yes. She wants me to take off the trash. Ah, oh, oh, come on, dude. dude. Take out the trash, man. She doesn't ask much from your measly little life. Yeah. She feeds you and clothes you. Yeah. That stinks, man. Hey, I want to talk to your mom. Put her on the phone. You want to talk to my mom? Mom, yeah. pick up the phone. Hello? Mom? Hello? Hi, Mom. Yeah? This is WAF Radio. You're live on the air. I, I yelled at your son for you. Good. For not I, taking out the garbage. Oh, you didn't get me on radio saying that. Oh, yeah. yeah. And I, I yelled at him for you, Mom. Because uh, you probably do a lot for him. You don't I, expect a lot from his measly little life, so I told him to take out the trash for Mom. That's right. You tell him. All right. Does he keep his room clean? Good night. Good night. Oh, and how old is he? 16. How's his grades? Uh, we won't discuss. Oh, oh boy. boy. Is there a drug problem? Huh? 
Hopefully no drug problem. No, no, no. He's not check, that stupid. Check under his mattress for any dirty magazines. I think he might... I've already done that. No, in actually... The garage you have to look in. Actually, the, the magazines, you could probably find them in the closet in a shoebox, tucked away. Yeah, the room with his closet, so I won't notice. Yeah, uh, hey, uh, there you go. Mom's not as stupid as you think, bro. Yeah. <laughs> now take out the garbage. Okay. That's right. And clean, and clean right. your room. And clean your room. That's right. All right. Thank you. Appreciate All right. it. Have a good day, Mom. You too. All right. Bye. Bye-bye. 107.3 WAF with the Smashing Pumpkins. 107.3 WAF, the only station that really rocks. Here is No Why from the latest Smashing Pumpkins CD. That's a WAF exclusive, and uh, tickets still available for the two shows, right? Yes. They're playing uh, New Haven Coliseum and the Mullen Center at UMass Amherst. And you can get those tickets through Ticketmaster, all right? Cool, like. And we got tickets still available for the last night of the three-day holiday rage. This is it, huh? Boy, that was a quick three days. Ah, uh, thank God. We all got to recuperate, man. Oh, my God. It's been a three-day oh. party, dude. Oh. Oh. We will be there tonight like troopers, though, to finish out the rage, right? I am shot. For a while there, me and I were thinking, you know, maybe we'll just blow off tonight and go home oh. and, and get some sleepies. But hell with that, man. Let's can't party on. Can't be a wuss. No, we can't be a wuss. So it's Rose of Conformity, Another Society, and Handsome. Tickets still available, but going fast. Yes. So if you're in the area, make sure you get down there now and get your tickets, okay? Right now. Uh, doors open, I guess, around 8 o'clock, and the first band's going on at 9. The lineup, in case you don't know, it's Handsome, then mm-hmm. Another Society, and then COC is going to rip the freaking roof off the Roxy tonight. <laughs> And Rocco's broadcasting live. We're going to check in with him in a few minutes, actually. I was saying that would suck because, you know, Rocco wouldn't have gotten to see uh, any of the bands. Yeah. You know, he's sitting here in the studio the whole time, but they shipped him over there, huh? Yes, they did. Broadcasting live. Cool. And I guess we're going to bring down a couple canvases. Excuse me. Are we trying butt art? We might do butt art live on the stage in between a couple bands tonight. We might. We might try to make that happen, so. (laughs) (laughs) All right. Uh, And speaking of uh, art. The Boobart stuff that we filmed in the studio on uh, Friday? Yes. It's going to be on the Real Rock TV show this Saturday night. Yeah, and the time is different this Saturday. Yeah, you got to mark it down. It's, Please. It's, we're being preempted because of El Baxio. El Baxio. So uh, Real Rock TV is going to be on at 12.30 this Saturday night on you and I. 12.30, a mere half an hour yes. difference. And yes. uh, if you're confused, you know, just set the damn VCR at 12, but set it for an hour. Yeah. You know, that way you you never miss a show. So just keep rolling that uh, tape because you're going to want to see the Boobart footage. Yeah. Everyone's talking about it, and you'll get to see it for yourself uh, Saturday night at 12.30. Remember, 12.30, 12.30, 12.30. On Unibijon. All right, let's get down to the Roxy and party yes. some more. Gentlemen, give yourself a gift of a night with Jenna Jameson. Get ready for the first Boston area appearance of adult video superstar Jenna Jameson. She's at Matthews and Kingsborough now through Saturday, and she's guaranteed to pack. Getting wall to wall. You don't want to get left down in the cold. Hot, busty, natural blonde. Beautiful face. Jenna's got it all. And she's going to show it to you. Now through Saturday at Matthews in Tinsborough. Due to anticipated overwhelming demand, Jenna will be making a special additional floor show each day at 5 p.m. Other shows at 8, 10, and midnight. Guys, if there's one lady that sets the standard for all others to aspire to, it's Jenna Jameson. There's only one adult entertainment club good enough to have her appear. Matthews in Tinsborough. World class adult entertainment with a touch of class. In the last 90 days, Matthews has presented you a beautiful adult film star. Now through Saturday, Matthews is bringing you the best, the hottest, the star of Wicked Pictures film, the one and only Jenna Jameson. Matthews is located off Route 3 and exit 36, just 40 minutes from downtown Boston. For more information and directions, call Matthews at 508-649-2900. 107 really rocks. WAAF Worcester, Boston. Yes, I know they reissued the film R2. No, they didn't give me a penis in this one either. <laughs> oh, you have a joke, R2. I give up. What is the hardest thing to find in the universe? Mark Hamill's career. Oh, R2. <laughs> yes, Darth Vader does look very shiny today. No, it's not because Princess Leia buffed his helmet. <laughs> you just saw Princess Leia naked in the shower. She does not look like she has a Wookiee in a leg lock. Ah, oh, man. R2, Yoda is a Jedi Master. Don't refer to him as that scrotum with ears. Wee. <laughs> 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 but my abdomen hurts a little bit. 
I don't want to down the limit. Oh, yeah. Oh, oh. Well, uh, I something's coming out. I don't know. Oh, oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, God, I'm bad. I feel like I'm passing oh. 10 pennies. Oh, oh. Oh, no. Oh, oh. 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 Smoking Network presents the Lowell Hillbilly, starring Granny. Get roll, roll me a doobie. My rheumatiz is making my fingers hurt. And Jethro. Hey, Granny, that's some mighty strong weed. I'll smoke some and even Miss Jane looks good. And Buddy Epson as Jed. Well, doggies, look at this here bong I whittled for Mr. Drysdale. This week's episode, Granny contemplates the meaning of life. Now, what you're saying is our whole solar system could be a molecule underneath some giant's fingernail. That's right. And we could have a whole solar system underneath our fingernail. Uh-huh. Well, give me some more reefers. Well, right on, Granny. The Lowell Hillbillies on W-E-E-D, the Pot Smoking Network, brought to you by Doritos, Cheetos, Devil Dogs, and anything else you have in the fridge. Check your local listings for the time and station in your area. I think one of Ellie Mae's critters is crawling up my leg. Do you have a stuffy nose, a scratchy throat, <coughs> and a cough that just won't quit? Ebola! Constant diarrhea? Ebola! Blood oozing from every orifice? Black vomit spewing out of your mouth and nose? Ebola! Ebola! The itching, scratching, sniffling, sneezing, coughing, crapping, puking, bleeding, so you can die, virus. Hey, boys and girls, today we'll talk about drug education. <laughs> oh, boy. Now, Susie, this is a bomb. Oh, boy, oh, boy. What I'm doing now is called packing the bowl. <laughs> hey, take a hit, Billy. Now hold it in. No cheating. Oh, boy, oh, boy. If your throat burns, drink some of this Old English 800. That's a boy. Be careful, Danny. That's four-way bladder acid. Don't eat the whole thing, or looking at me will really freak you out. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. <laughs> Who's got the heroin? Oh, boy. I love drugs. Drugs love me. I want to do enough till I just can't see. With a bong full of weed and a vial full of crack, we're going to get so high that we don't come back. Say goodbye. Oh, boy. Oh. <laughs> goodbye, horny mom. When we see you walking down the street, the sight that'll come to mind is you swallowing some meat. And it seems to me you live your life like a pervert in a wig, wearing panties, seeing man meat. 